Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about how to connect to an Allen Bradley Micro 800 PLC over Ethernet. To do this, we're going to use one of our PLC trainers that's equipped with the Micro 820 PLC. And since our laptop doesn't have Ethernet, we're going to be using a USB to Ethernet adapter, then a standard Ethernet cable. Now, the first thing you got to know when connecting over Ethernet is what is the IP address? Now, if you're using our trainer, by default, it comes with an IP address of 192. Dot one sixty eight dot one dot ten. Now this one right here is actually something I grabbed, and I'm not fully sure whether that's the IP address of it or not. So if you're in the boat of not using one of our trainers, or you're walking up on a machine, then you're going to need to read the IP address of it. And in the case of the Micro Eight Twenty, it doesn't have an LCD screen. And the easiest way to do that is with an IP Explorer. And I'll put a link to this in the description. But you just take a standard Ethernet cable and plug it in. And then we'll power it up. And all right, first time we have to configure its IP address. So I'm just going to throw ones all the way across it. This wouldn't be a normal IP address, but all we're doing is reading, so it'll work great for that. And now we are going to go and read the unknown IP address. And in the case of the 820, it only does it on first plug-in. So you need to plug it in. And then you can see its IP address it actually gives the MAC and the IP address. And the IP address of this one is 192.168.110, which is our default of our trainer. It also gives you the version of the software. So in Connected Components Workbench, you have to have the version match to it. So we need to be at version 11, and it gives you the serial number also. But okay, now we know. So now we'll open up Connected Components Workbench, and we'll plug our Ethernet cable from our Micro 800 PLC to our USB to Ethernet adapter and plug it into our computer. So since we're at 192.168.1.10, our computer IP address needs to be something similar. Mainly the first three octets, or that 192.168.1, needs to be the same. And then that last one needs to be anything but 10, since we're doing a direct connection. Now, if you're on a network, you need to know a lot more about Ethernet than what I just told you. But this is more about how to connect to your PLC over Ethernet, not how to configure an Ethernet network. All right, so now we're gonna to go to our start menu and let's just type control panel. And then let's go to network and internet and network and sharing center. And then let's go to change adapter settings. And right now we're using this Ethernet 2 and we're gonna to wanna to right click it and go to properties and then TCP IP and okay. So this one already is configured to an IP address that will be able to connect to it. So this one is 192.168.110 and our network is 192.168.1 and then 178. And so that will work. All right, now we're gonna go back to Connected Components Workbench and we're going to create a new project because we're gonna pull the program, we're gonna upload the program out of the PLC to the PC. Just create a new one. And then it's gonna ask us to select our device. So we're under controllers, we're gonna find the Micro 820, and then we have a 2080-LC20-20-QWB. And from the IP Explorer that we used to determine the IP address, we also learned that this is a version 11 processor and you've got to match the processor that's shown right here with what is in the PLC. So we'll select it and add it to the project. Now we're going to configure our Ethernet driver. And to do that, we're going to go to communications and configure drivers. And there are actually two Ethernet drivers and they both have a very important purpose. So first you have the Ethernet IP driver. And what it does is it listens for broadcast packets that are coming from the PLCs to discover devices on the network. And this is really useful, especially when you're unfamiliar with the network that you're on. But some firewalls and advanced routers will block these packets. And so sometimes it won't be able to be used. And in that case, you would use the Ethernet devices driver. And I'm gonna show you both of them here. So we're gonna select Ethernet IP driver. We're gonna add new. And you just leave it at its default name. 
And then it's gonna ask you which device to use, which network device to use. And you see I've got several of them here. In fact, I need to clean them up some. But mainly, we just looked and we know that this Realtek USB is the one that we're looking for, 192.168.1.78. I'm gonna click OK, close. And then we're gonna go right here where it says disconnected. We're gonna click the arrow right beside of it and click connect. And now we have that ethernet IP driver. So we're gonna click on it and there's our PLC. Now, what if it didn't show up? If it didn't, then chances are either your IP address is not configured right or something is blocking those ethernet IP driver packets that normally would discover this. So let's back back out of this and let's go back to communications, configure drivers, and let's add the ethernet devices driver. So ethernet devices, add new. On the last one, it just asked which adapter you wanted to use and it went and it listened for the packets. Well, this time it is asking for the station mapping and the station mapping is the IP addresses that it should look for PLCs at. Now I'm gonna leave this blank. I'm just gonna click okay. Now this is wrong. I'm doing this just to show you what will happen. We'll close that out. And now we're gonna go back to connect. And this time we're gonna click on that ABETH driver, which is the one we just put in. Now you can sit here and watch these squares change color, but it's never gonna do anything, mainly because I put none of those station mappings in there. So let's cancel out again. Go back to communications, configure drivers, and now let's double click on that ABETH driver and let's put in 192.168.1.10. Okay, close. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna tell it, instead of, remember the ethernet IP driver, it just listens. Well, the ethernet devices driver now is gonna go and look at that IP address and say, hey, is there a PLC right there? So let's go back to connect and the ethernet driver. So now it can see the PLC also. So that's the two drivers that you can use to connect over ethernet to your PLC. So we'll go ahead and just click on the ethernet devices one, click okay. All right, so now you have the option. It knows that it doesn't have the right program. So you can either download the program that's in the connected components workbench. Remember you download from the PC to the PLC, or you can upload the program from the PLC to the PC. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna upload it and we're gonna pull the logical values out of it too. And that's the, that's the values that change, the variables.